Hi guys, this is Akir from Crestfoot, and in this video, we are going to discuss about buffer overflow attack. Here, we will discuss about what is buffer overflow attack. Then, we will discuss about types of buffer overflow attack. After this, we will discuss about how to prevent buffer overflow attack. And at the end, we will take a short look at the summary of this lecture. So, without any further intro, let's start. Before we discuss about buffer overflow attack, let me briefly tell you what exactly buffer overflow is. Buffers are memory storage regions that temporarily hold the data while it is being transferred from one location to another. A buffer overflow occurs when the volume of data exceeds the storage capacity of the memory buffer. For example, suppose you are filling a form on a website and there is a password field in which you have to enter the password. Now, if the maximum characters allowed for the password is 10, and you enter some password which is longer than 10 characters. So here you gave an input more than the buffer can hold. Now the program must raise an error until you type the password which is less or equal to 10 characters. So this is what buffer overflow is in brief. Now in a buffer overflow attack, attackers exploit buffer overflow issues by writing extra data which holds specific instructions for actions intended by a hacker. For example, the data could trigger a response that damages files, changes data, or reveals private information. Buffer overflow attack are of two types, stock-based buffer overflow and heap-based attacks. Stock-based buffer overflows are more common among attackers. Here, the attacker exploits applications and programmers by using stock memory space, which is used to store users' input. While as heap-based are least common among attackers. Here, the attacker have to attack an application by flooding the memory space reserved for a program and it is also difficult to execute. So these are the types of buffer overflow. Now let's discuss about how you can prevent buffer overflow attacks. We can protect against the buffer overflow vulnerabilities by using compiler tools like StockShield, StockGuard and LibSafe. Or by using safe functions like StrengthSP. And also by code auditing. Now at the end, let's take a short look at the summary of this lecture. So in this lecture, we have learned about buffer overflow attack, where we, first, where we firstly discuss about buffer overflow which occurs when the volume of data exceeds the storage capacity of the memory buffer. For example, if you are filling a form on a website and a maximum character error for the password is 10, and you enter something extra longer than 10 characters, so here the buffer overflow occurs. Now, in a buffer overflow attack, attackers exploit buffer overflow issues by writing extra data. Buffer overflow are of two types, stock-based buffer overflows and heap-based attacks. Out of these two, stock-based are more common among attackers. We can prevent buffer overflow by various means, which includes using compiler tools like StockShield or by using safe functions like SmashP and also by code auditing. If you want a practical on this, let me know in the comment section. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys like it, like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Craspo for more informative videos related to technology, ethical hacking, cybersecurity, and programming. See you next time. Till then, thank you and bye bye.